Hello children, welcome to my online class. This is English 2 of class 4. And today your new topic is unit 4. That is the hero of Harlem. And this is a very beautiful story. Here is a little boy whose name is Han. Hands, right? So, we are going to read about the bravery of this boy who has saved his city from a natural calamity, from a flood, big flood, right? So, we are going to read this story. Listen to me very carefully. Okay, children? And before going through this chapter, let me tell you something about the writer. Okay? And who is the writer of this chapter? Mary Mavs does. Right? Mary, is, her full name is Mary Elizabeth Mavs does. Was an American children author and editor. She is best known for her novel that was Hans Brinker. She was recognized leader in Zubnal literature for almost a third of the 19th century. Right? And she was born on 26th January 1831 in New York, United States. And she was died in 21st August 1905. And her best known novel, Hans Brinker, or we can say The Silver Skates, a story of life in Holland, from which this script has been taken. From that book. This is a very short story extracted from there. So let me begin the chapter. Harlem is a city in the Netherlands. Netherlands means low countries. The ground there is lower than the level of the sea. The people build dikes all around the country to prevent the sea water from rushing in. These walls are very important for the safety of the people. Now let us read a story about a boy from Harlem who spotted something that did not look right. So I already told you this is a story of a brave boy how he had saved his city from the flood, right? How bravely he did this work, right? We can say that that's why the title of the chapter is Hero of Harlem. So Harlem is a city in a Netherland. Do you know Netherland? It is a country in Western Europe, right? So, it means the low countries. That means the there the ground level is lower than the sea level. So, the people build dikes. Dikes means see in the picture. Have you seen? Yes, this is called dikes. And the meaning of the dike is great thick wall as roads right so this these kind of dikes are made all around the country to prevent the sea water from rushing in the country in the city and these walls are very important for the safety of the people of that land those who are habited there right so any time the flood may come and that natural calamity may devast their land. So, these dikes plays the most important role in such cities in Harlem. Har like Harlem cities in Netherlands. Right? So, you can say that these dikes protect the country from the North Sea and so the, even the small children also knew the importance of the dikes in their country. So this is the story about a little boy. 
हुज नेम इज हैंस एंड हाउ ही सेव्ड हिज सिटी फ्रॉम दिस नेचुरल कैलमिटी सेव्ड फ्रॉम द सिटी दिस इज द स्टोरी अबाउट अ स्मॉल बॉय हु इज वेरी ब्रेव एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग मेनी लॉन्ग इयर्स अगो इन द सिटी ऑफ हार्लम there lived a very kind boy named hans hans father was in charge of taking a care of the dikes or the stone walls that kept at the sea water kept the sea water from rising into harlem and washing it away so many years ago many long years ago there is a city called harlem right and there lived a very kind boy whose name was hans right and his father hans father took the charge to take care of the dikes this is called dikes children or the stone walls which are very thick and great one right and that kept the sea water from rising into the harlem city right it prevent the water not to enter in the city so these dikes are very very important this plays the most important role to prevent the city being rust water in that city one day hans father went on a trip since he usually spent his holidays watching his father care for the dikes hans had nothing to do I am going to bake some bread. I am going to bake some bread and a few cakes," said Hans' mother. "Why don't you take some to old Mr. Jensen this afternoon?" So one day, Hans' father went for a trip, a short journey, right? So since he usually spent his holidays by watching his father's work, what was that? to take care about the dikes right hans won't have anything to do he had to just sit and watch the dikes why to watch it if some kind of hole of some if the water is leaking from there or not from that thick wall great wall right so he has to watch it right so if even a little hole in it can be a very dangerous for the city so actually his father work is that right but instead of his father he was doing this duty now you just imagine children how much careful children and he was right because he was taking much care of the dikes because he knew that what will happen if the if there will be any hole in that dike right yes he loved his city very much so next para so what what is mother said yes his mother said that i'm going to bake some bread and few cakes and you go and give this to mr jensen maybe their friend their neighbor there right hans happily agreed even though it was a rainy day hans was happily obeyed the mother's work what she said right because it was a rainy day and being the children he also wanted to go outside right isn't it mr jensen was an elderly man whose eyesight was failing he had no family to care for him and he lived alone with his pet dog alphonse hans mother often helped him with his household chores right so hans happily agreed with mother mother's work what she told her to do and where he was going he was going to meet with jensen who was an elderly man and whose eyesight was very poor means that being the ace his eyesight was very weak he can't see properly right 
so he had no family also he was lonely there right he lived alone and he had only a pet dog whose name was alphonse right and hans mother usually used to help him with his household chores right household chores means yes household daily work tasks that we used to do regularly at home your mother also used to do nowadays you people are at your home right you have seen what your mother does yes that are called household chores right children so in the afternoon hans mother packed a basket of cake and bread for mr jensen we will have dinner at 6 o'clock so come back before that she said as she gave hans the basket i won't be late replied hans right so mother told hans to give that basket of cake and bread to mr jensen which she had begged herself and she was sending it to for mr jensen right and she aware his son her son by saying that we will have dinner at 6 o'clock so you should be back before that time and hans also listening to her listening to his mother he also replied yes i won't be late i'll be back at the right time before that before earlier than that so he went from there by taking the basket of cakes and bread it was a long walk to mr jensen house he lived at the edge of the town close to the dikes the spring rain had been much heavier than usual pouring down hard each day and night right mr jensen's house was quite far away from there from their house so it was a long walk for him yes for the small child that the child fit how he will walk he will walk so fastly from his house so he was as fast as he could he was moving his feet towards jensen's house so he lived at the edge of the town right close to the dikes which is near to the dikes he was the edge of the town the spring rain had been much heavier so that that time the spring rain heavier becoming much heavier than the usual pouring very hard it was raining heavily that time is day and night while the wind turned the windmills and the rain watered the tulips the string and shawl on dikes kept feeling worrying hands as he passed so while the wind turned the windmills you know windmills yes see the picture of the windmills here yes these are called windmills right so how much fast the wind will blow that must will the windmills will run right and the rain watered the tulips the plants right the flowers they are called tulips and the strain and swollen dikes kept feeling worrying because rain water raining very heavily it was the dikes are going to be feel very fast and dikes are becoming tired now why because it was tired due to blocking the water such heavy water is there huge amount of water filling much more and more due to the heavy rain at that time so hans was worrying about it because he was thinking when he was passing from it he was thinking that if water will rain like this way right day and night so very fastly the rain water may come to our city side which city he lives harlem right yes it will overflow from the dikes and the flood may occur in our city he was worrying about this the hard rain pelted him and the piercing cold wind stung his cheeks but he pressed on keeping his head down hunting his soldiers and pulling his coat tight about him pelted means feel very heavily right and piercing means of the wind or cold very continued to walk so he was walking fastly at that time to reach to his home right it was raining very heavily and the, it was very cold wind right so due to that cold wind he was 
it caused sharp pain to his cheeks face right isn't it when you are walking in the very cold rain it was raining heavily how your face will feel right so it was pressing on for him and continuously he was walking in such way there right and his shoulders and pulling his coat very tight because he was feeling very cold at that time and he has to walk fast also by carrying the basket right who will take care of the dikes if something goes wrong while father is away he wondered hans and what hans was thinking my father is not here and my father is only one the man who has got the in charge ship to look over the dikes right and he is not here so in absence of my father if something will happen to the dikes right then who will look over it what will happen to our beautiful city so han was worried about it now see this much small child how much he was thinking about that dikes about his own city right harlem Hans reached Mr. Jensen, Mr. Jensen's house with the basket of goodies. Mr. Jensen was delighted that Hans had come to visit him. Sit down, my lad, the old man said. Right. So at last he reached to Jensen's house. Right. How much he was suffered on the way. But finally he reached there with that all the things what his mother sent for Mr. Jensen. So Mr. Jensen, when he saw him, he was much happier. Right. and he was very much happy and glad to see him whom hands and he said that sit down my lad the old man said mr jensen enjoyed telling hands stories about how things were long ago and the boy loved to listen him the old man and the boy talked and talked they shared the cake and bread minutes turned into hours suddenly hands looked at the clock right both hans and mr jensen enjoyed with each other one is enjoying in telling his old stories and hans is also also enjoying to listen to his story he loved to listen to him right he is taking much interest to listen his story right and they are talking and talking when somebody is very much a uh, talking very interesting thing and you are listening to them and we are not we are not awareing about the time right children just we love to listen to that person those who is saying to us right so same way hans is also love to listen to this man so he is listening to him very interestingly and he is very happy to listen to him and by doing this all one is talking and talking saying and saying another is listening and they both don't know about the time right so at last when hans looked at the clock he was shocked he was surprised it's past 6 o'clock he exclaimed i won't reach in time for dinner mother will be waiting for me so at last when he when his eyes Reached to the clock, and when he said that, oh, it's too late for me, right? My mother awaited me in that time to be back before the six o'clock because that will be our dinner time. So Hans was quite worried at that time. Hans quickly said good night to Mr. Jensen and began the long walk home. His wooden shoes clicked and clacked against the wet and muddy brick road. The rain had not let up. The street was empty. Everyone had gone home, taking shelter from the cold rain. Now, it was very late for him. So Hans said good night and bye to Mr. Jensen, and he began to walk from his home very fastly. Right, and his wooden shoes clicked and clacked against the wet because it was much heavily raining that time, and he cannot walk properly due to that muddy brick road. Understood? and his shoes also not allowing him to walk properly with his fast feet the rain had not let up reduce the strength means due to the rain he cannot move and walk properly right how much you want to walk so it needs more effort and strength to his body to walk in that street 
and at that rainy time and that cold also the due to that weather the street was empty right nobody was there everyone had gone home and taking shelter from the cold rain yes all are in their home to to be safe and protected from the rain and cold only hans was there who is quickly moving towards his home hans was thinking about a warm dinner and a cozy bed when he passed one of the many dikes something did not look right hans crept closer to the dike to see there is the middle of the high stone wall in between the stone blocks was a small hole from the hole sipped a thin trickle of water so when he was returning to his home and thinking about the warm dinner which his mother made at home right and cozy bed for the for that cold time right thinking about this all and he was passing from the many dikes on his way and he was just found himself that something not look right and script means moved slowly and carefully now he is noticing something there in the dikes see here dikes yes so there is middle of the high stone wall in between the stone blocks was a small hole right so on his back home maybe he heard or he saw a small hole here is saying that a small hole is seen right between the stone blocks was a small hole from the hole sipped sipped means float slowly in a small quantity of water while hans knew that the dripping water looked harmless he also knew that the water building up behind the great wall would push at the tiny hole until it became bigger and bigger soon it would let the water come rushing through washing away the town so on his way back home he heard the sound of trickling water from the dike he saw a small hole in the dike right and he was very afraid by seeing it and he thought that the small dropping of water right looked harmless before but after some time that tiny hole will become bigger and bigger because the force of the water will make that hole bigger and bigger slowly so soon it would let that his town harlem washing away right so it may blast the wall the hole become very bigger and bigger right and all the force of water will come to the to his city so he was quite worried about it and now what he had done he was a small boy he can't do anything but see how bravely and cleverly he saved his city help hans called out someone help me the dike is going to burst to burst but the wind drowned out hans cries he was sure nobody had heard him there would be no hell so at the night time nobody could be there to listen to him right isn't it and he shouted for help but no one turned up nobody was hearing to him right and the dike is going to burst so what he did what do you mean by drowned out wind drowned out made a sound of loud that other sounds couldn't be hear over yes and the wind is blowing so hardly heavily and his sound is also not reachable right and everyone all the people are inside their house at that time and at the night time nobody could hear him and he was sure that nobody could come and hear to help him so he won't get any help at that time hans knew he had to think fast and do something quickly i will plug the hole with my hand he decided and pushed his fist in the hole the water stopped trickling so what he thought 
he thrust his finger into the tiny hole of the dikes to stop water. Right? And he thought that by doing this, he may be able to control the flow of the water of that hole. Right? And fist, fist means a person's hand. When the fingers are bent in towards the palm and held there tightly, typical in order to strike a blow or grasp something. We can say that like this. This is called fist. Okay, children? Yes. So, he was trying to block that hole. The whole night. Because nobody is hearing to him and coming to help at that time. Prickling means water flowing slowly in a thin line. At first it was flowing very slowly from that line. See here in the picture. But slowly, slowly this hole will become bigger and bigger. Right? And from that big hole, water will Yes, forcefully come out from there and it may cause flood in that town, right? So the rain kept pelting and the wind continued to shrill. What do you mean by shrill? Move around quickly in a circle, right? I will plug the hole. Okay. But still hands kept his fist plugged in the hole. He knew that in order to save his town, he could not let the water break through the dike. So rain kept pelting and the wind continued, right? The rain is raining heavily and the water from that hole is totally not stopped to come out. But then also from his small fist, right? He was holding his fist there and plugged his fist in that hole where the water is leaking, right? pouring from out. He knew that in order to save his town, he could not do anything at that time. Just he hold his fist and plugged in that hole. Right? And he could not let the water break through the dike. Yes. At that time, he knew this much only how to save his city. So he did that work. A great work. He had done for that his city. Then suddenly standing before him was Mr. Jansen who had come out to walk Alphonse. Hans, he cried, what are you doing here? Right? There is a leak in the dike, cried Hans. Please hurry and get help. Mr. Jansen immediately got help. Soon a group of people came and repaired the dike. My lad, said Mr. Jansen, first I will take you. Home, and then I will tell every one of the boy who saved the town. Right? So, luckily, what had happened? Suddenly, Mr. Jansen came out for the walk for his pet dog, whose name was Alphonse. Right? And then he saw Hans there near to the wall, near to the dike. Right? Who is holding his hand over there. And when he was coming near to him, and he knew that, Hans was standing there for what? Yes, he was trying to block the flow of water from the dike, right? With his small hand and he is plugging his fist over there. And he cried, Hans cried, yes, there is a leak in the dike, right? Please hurry and get help, he was shouting with Mr. Jensen. And Mr. Jensen also immediately shouted there and calling other people also for the help. Right? Because dike was going to be brushed. Right? So, Jensen said, here is a brave boy. Right? Even he is small, but he had done a great job for the city. Right? He saved our city, Harlem, from the landslide, from the flood, right? Which could me bring our city in flood and this, he is saving us from this great natural 
calamity. Right? Do you know calamity? Yes, the nature destruction that is called natural calamity. This way, Hans saved his land, his city, right? From the flood, right? So he became the hero of Harlan. Understood, children? That's why the topic is the hero of Harlan, the real hero who really saved his city, right? From flood, isn't it? Yes. So do you understand? And the moral of the story is that you should love your country, you should love your land. Yes, for your land, for your country, to save it, you have to do anything for your land. If you love your land truly, how a small boy Hans had done in this story for his lovely city, Harlem. Understood children? So this is the story. I hope you understood it. Go through the story two times at least. Right? First of all, read it and try to find out the hard words. Some hard words are given already in the book. And if more hard words you will find, then you underline it and try to find out the meaning in the dictionary. Okay, children? Okay, this is only for the only this much for this time. So next time I'm going to give you question answers. Right? So till then, stay safe, stay happy. Never forget to read your chapters and all and do not forget to do your exercises also. Okay, till then bye. Thank you.